Hello there. Welcome to the DID Golf Talk Show. The show that's going to be talking about everything that is golf related. We're going to be giving tips. We're going to be giving you information and golf tournaments that are hosted around the world. We're going to be talking to guests in the show here, and I'm looking forward to host you. This show is going to be about golf talk, anything that is golf related. But before I start on that, I think I should introduce myself and my background of where I come from. Who am I to be talking about golf? I know I'm black, but I'm talking golf. That's actually going to be helping a lot, a lot on those of who plays golf, who doesn't play golf. My name is Song Sonamzi. I'm a golf professional. Let me tell you a little bit of a background about me. I was once in the States, didn't have a job, didn't have a place to stay, and I needed a job so badly that the only place that could actually hire me was a golf course. I went to a golf course in Westchester Country Club called in Rye, New York, and I became a kid in that golf club. I fell in love with the game of golf. Within a few years, I started playing the game of golf, and I loved it so much that I decided to turn my passion into a career. I joined the PGA of America in 2006, and I graduated in 2010 as a PGA qualified professional under the PGA of America. Good story on that, actually. I got a call from Gary Player to congratulate me for what I have done saying that there's no South African that has done what I've done, and I can, I can actually change the country with what I've done. Finished my studies, and I became jealous of the game of golf, what he had done for me. I decided to take what I had in America, and I took it straight back to South Africa with me. I um, started the DIG Foundation in 2011. It has grown into numbers. Coming from the Eastern Cape, there's not a lot of people that play golf, and the purpose of golf is not understood. This show is going to help a lot on that understanding. So I started the, developing the game, coaching a lot of kids from Observatory Golf Club. Now we're based at Kalam Golf Club. I'm a qualified professional, and I've got the passion for the game of golf. And that's where am I, Song Sonamzi, a PGA qualified and the founder of the DIG Foundation that is here to unleash and unearth the game of golf. Dig it out all the way that is being hidden under the game of golf. We're going to cover a lot of topics on this from why people should play golf. And I think that's very important that it's not been clear why people should play golf in South Africa. There's amazing benefits that are within this game of golf. One of them is the networking opportunities that you get when you play the game of golf. So we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be having guests that are coming up here with the powerful networks that we're having. We're going to be talking about the health benefits that are within the game of golf. We're going to be talking about what does golf do to you as a human being socially? What happens when the kids play golf? What benefits do they get out of that? We're talking about the discipline. When they need to be on time on a golf course, that teaches them to be punctual. If they are late on a golf course, they get penalized, two short penalty. We're going to be talking about a lot of those. I'm going to be bringing guests and talking about the issue of what are the best golf courses to play in South Africa, looking at the finance and accessibility. We're going to be digging deeper into this thing. We're going to be digging into the outfits that you're supposed to wear on a golf course. I had ladies this morning, they came on stilettos. They had to buy golf clothes in the pro shop because they didn't have proper outfit to play the game of golf. This is a show that's going to be talking about everything from equipment that you're using to clothing to everything that is what you eat, how to train. And more importantly, we're going to be exposing some black professionals all around the country that are going to be coming to talk to this show and tell us their struggles because we don't see a lot of black professionals playing this game of golf. But also, one of the topics we're going to talk about is the issue of how do you start to play the game of golf? Where do you start? Because I know some people, they know about me or about the game of golf, but they don't know where to start. So we're going to be giving you tips on how to start the game of golf, how to join the country clubs based on your budget and your skill level and the level of, 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 of context that you're going to be having when you're playing this game of golf. Not alone. We're going to be talking and breaking down the golf myths in this thing. There's a lot of talk that golf is for white people in South Africa or all around the world. We're going to be breaking that down, introducing the Tiger Woods that are actually not white, but they're playing the game of golf. The examples of the Tiger Woods that are, or James Comtes, that are playing in this country that are not white, but are playing the game of golf. We're going to be breaking into that. We're going to be talking about, is golf for old people? We've got a yard of youngsters playing golf now at the Kailami Golf Club playing the game of golf. We're going to be breaking that down. A lot of ladies are going to understand that this is not just a men's game here. It's not doing rugby. I mean, even in rugby, 
girls are playing it, let alone golf, ladies are allowed to actually come and play the game of golf. Is it for old people? Is it for young people? Is it for an athletic sport? Or is it a sport? There's so much argument that golf is not a sport. Golf is not a sport because you are not actively um, as active as you are in soccer. But golf is a sport in its own. We're going to show you. The talk about is the golf game of golf boring? We're going to be showing you the excitement that are actually seen within the game of golf. More especially mentally, what it does to you when you are playing. We're going to be digging into that into this show. Let alone the golf tips. How to hold a golf club, how to swing it, what makes you miss that ball when you're actually hitting it. We're going to be giving tips on how to improve your game in this, in the, in this from putting to chipping to driving. We're going to be talking about all that. Once you listen to this, every time you're going to be able to listen and get some tips on how to play the game of golf in this Dig Golf Talk Show. <laughs> no, that's not how you do it. That's not how you dig golf. Now we're going to show you how to do it. You see? Now that's how you swing golf. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not how you dress up for golf. Golf attire is very important for golf. Let me show you how you get it done. In golf, you're not allowed to speak when somebody's swinging a golf club. That's golf etiquette. 